Friday Wednesdays with Jazz and Bambi. It's the Girl Talk Podcast. Hi Apollonia, how are you? So I'm waiting on Jazz to pop in because as you guys know it's Q&A Wednesday today. <clears throat> I hope you had a wonderful day today. A restful day today Apollonia. I hope so. <laughs> so let me see if I can get Jazz on the inside with me. I really like the song. You know the song? Hi, Renisha. No, I don't. Hi, Lynn. That is my jam. That's my new jam from um, Asha Rima. Asha. And is, that like a, is that like a new song or something? Yeah, but it's not new, 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 but new as in the last couple of months um, from Asha and LMI. Nice song. Oh, well, girl, so, I I have mm-hmm. not um, been in on the scoop with music. I think oh, well. I for, for a little bit. So I kind of out the loop a little bit. <laughs> okay. Today is so Wrap It Up Wednesday. Wrap it yes. up. Wrap it up Wednesday Listen. and loving this purple. Hello now. Thank you. Thank you. It's purple is my favorite color and I need some tutorials because I catch my skin to figure this out. <laughs> this, I catch my oh, skin to figure this out. So I think I need some, some tutorials happening. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. That's why I think something is in my eye though. What is this tonight? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, but I, I think I it looks it, lovely. It looks lovely. Thank you very much, Bam. Good night, Lynn. Good night, Renisha. Good night. Good night. I saw Apollonia. Apollonia on Chavez is on. Yeah, she's on. Yes, I saw. Come on. You know, Bambi. I think we need to do a videotaping of the behind the scenes of Jazz and Bambi. You know why? Because we just go through real stress. <laughs> You tell you know before, before coming on here, so I, I feel really to do a behind the scenes situation because this is crazy. <laughs> I I feel so too, you know, because people just only see the, but then you the craziness that happens. It's like, what? <laughs> you and I both know. It's be like what? Yeah. <laughs> we should have just do like a voice po- podcast. We were not worry about all of this drama. Well, you see, the thing is, that's initially, that's, that's our plan, but COVID happened, so that's we had true. to improvise, you know. That's is true, that's is true. Anyways, so that's what we here, and I mean, we, we loving it. Cool. So today, my hubby would have made me his special lime and water drink with a touch of bitters in it. Lemon, lime, and bitters? Yeah. Homemade. Okay, very nice. Homemade. Yep, so very I'm nice. having that. And what about you? I um I went to the grocery store and I saw this new but well, it's not new because I heard it was out for a while. Then the spoon off ice guarana. I don't know what fruit is a guar a guarana. Oh yes, guarana. That's a kind of so what happens is I play this game called the cafe and they have all sorts of spices and guarana is actually like a reddish blackish um type of looking like a how does look boy? Something like a not really a plum, but like of that nature. Guarana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. having, I'm having that. I'm trying this tonight. I hope I don't get too drunk at least five percent alcohol. Oh, you know, boy. I find my my um, tolerance for alcohol has dropped. I, I think that is excellent. That has to be an age thing. I think it's the same with me. But hey, why is that excellent? Um. So we. Because you know, well, you know, I guess I don't know. I don't want to be a, a lightweight okay, You know, when I drink in something, I don't want to be a, in two in in two drinks. I don't slobbering all over the place. No. <laughs> oh my no. God! Hi, Lois. Welcome on the inside with us. Yeah, I don't want to be like Lynn. 
Oh Lord, let's not go there now. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, we love you. We do. <laughs> I don't want to be like Lynn. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so guys, yes. welcome on the inside with us. It's Q and A Wednesdays, and um, for those of you who would have missed our notification up on the on IG, um, telling you that we'll be on Facebook. Sunday gone. Um, we're so sorry that you you missed it, but we had um, a nice little session on on Sunday. I must yes. say, and I want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you who was who were able to make it on the Facebook Live. So from now on, what we're doing is we're sharing the live. So we'll be on Instagram and on Facebook. So Jazz, what are the days are we on Instagram? Yes, I will not repeat what um, Lynn just said. <laughs> I would not. Instead, I will just screenshot it so that everybody can see it afterwards. But anyway, yes. Right. So just join us there. We will um, post all the videos as usual on our YouTube page. So every day you can look out on the YouTube page to see the videos um, on Girl Talk with Jazz and Bambi on YouTube. All right. That's right. That's right. So for those so, of you who would have missed our session on Sunday, we spoke about our topic was analyzing cheating in relationships. Um, yes, that would have been um, in the highlight of Jada and Will Smith, um, what was happening in their life. And I mean, mind you, this happened years ago, but it is out now and John Public knows. So John Public decided to run with it i mean we didn't we didn't want to run with it but we thought it was the perfect timing to discuss you know um such Cheating. um mm -hmm. yeah such a such a topic because it happens it happens the reality is there's a lot of cheating going on like if cheating is the norms mm -hmm. um and we just wanted to highlight or analyze in that sense you know uh, the aspects of, of, of it uh, and why it happens in a relationship. So we would have discussed that. If you if you've missed it, you then need to go onto our page, Girl Talk Jazz Bambi on Facebook, and you would see it there. We would have shared it, so you could definitely share it and take it in. Um, and like Jazz was saying before, you could go on the YouTube page. I don't think it's up right now, but when it's up, you'll be able to to view. All right, so today we want to do a little bit of uh, what activity are we doing activities today? Yes, and we have um, a couple of questions that oh, were yes. sent us in our Jambi mail. So Correct. we have the questions to answer, and we have a nice little quiz that we want to um, do, and you know, for everyone to partake in and you know, learn something new when it comes to the topic that we're discussing. Yes. And you know, I just really want to and um reiterate or even encourage people even more to definitely go and check out the video on facebook right now um that we did on sunday mainly because i felt as though we really had a unconventional stance when it came to that discussing that topic yeah. um cheating in relationships we know how terrible it could be and how harmful it could be to people and um, to the relationship on a whole. But uh, I think what we wanted to look at is the fact that cheating is such a norm in relationships these, these days. And there are instances whereby it is a genuine mistake or rather um, an act that was done because of something failing in a relationship that can be fixed once both persons are willing to fix it, both, since once both persons want to remain together and are committed to that um, relationship. So that was the kind of the stance that we took, taking um, of this, the, the decision that Will and Jada would have made to become life partners as compared to breaking up and ending the relationship. I mean, there's much more to the story that a lot of people are missing with respect to Will and Jada, but we're not going to get into that. But we just wanted to say, you know, that there are different ways that you can look at cheating in a relationship. There aren't, there, it, it isn't all of a negative perspective you need to, to, to take. You know, you don't always have to look at it with the negative blinders. You can see 
what positive outcome can come from it because there are some as as much as that may sound bad or my song way that i'm saying or that bambi saying there are some positives that can come out of it once you are mature enough to see it in that manner and actually grow from it as compared to make it break you down you know yes. so mm-hmm. guys we we'll actually check out that video analyzing cheating but um you know on a wednesday we like to take it down we like to relax we like to laugh a little bit we like to do a little activity a little quiz a little something 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 right. and um so i have a quiz here and we have some questions so before hi thorn hi phil hi um, keisha hi miss unique hi, good miss evening unique. good evening good y'all evening. are in time because we're going to be doing the quiz <laughs> and we're also going to be answering the questions so bam Yes. Um I have I have three questions that I received, right? And I'm going to throw one out right now and then we're going to get into the quiz. All right, cool. So, coming off of um I guess because we took such an unconventional um turn with no. respect to the topic. No thorn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not drama. It's wrap it up Wednesday hence the Oh my god. It. And then it's also Q and Wednesday. It is. Right. So, <laughs> Um, coming off of that um what, how how you spoke and how we spoke about cheating in relationships this topic um came this question came up sorry and this person and I'm not going to give any names they're all anonymous um the, the question is what steps would you take to move on from being cheated on after you decided to give forgive person um so the first the first step is forgiveness and that person would have done that so um kudos you know and go into the right direction you know for for that um and other steps so once you forgive the person and you and you're ready to move on you know um is it that they want to they they're moving on with their life entirely and forgetting relationships well, or they but I want to know what you what 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 steps you would take like if you happened to be in a position like that and you decided to forgive what steps would then you take now uh, it's cuz it's thrown out to you um to move on from from that well um it all like, like we were saying Sunday it all depends on the dynamic of the relationship uh, because some people have children so if it is a case where you have children involved um you have to be mindful of that and be adult enough to be able to deal with the person in a respectable manner just for the kids um you know it would just be um a parenting situation and nothing too personal highly by um so maturely you would handle that you know in the right manner going forward for the kids yes i forgive you um but i really don't want anything else to do with you i don't desire a relationship with you but because of our kids um and we have to see each other in that sense because you're entitled to your children in that sense um i will be do- adult enough um to have you see your children and just don't have anything to do with me i don't have any malice or anything towards you i just just think that you know um the way i feel about the situation going forward with us personally you know um shouldn't um shouldn't be a factor seeing that you know i already moved on so moving on is fine but if it is i have no children involved and you want to you move on and you forgive the person i mean what else what else what else is there to, to I think, really i think if uh, um if um explain the question properly here now i think it's in terms of if it is you stay together when i say forgive you decided to forgive and stay together so oh, now well, you have to say that much yeah, yeah. <laughs> i thought you're on now now you know but you know, no, but, specific, you, know you, 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 you decided to forgive because remember as i said based on how we the stance that we took which is that you don't always have to throw the relationship away there right. are things you can do to to build back right so they want to know she wants to know what would you do to move on from being cheated on oh, like from, from the hurt so from to the move hurt. forward to mo- yeah okay. move forward right. after you decide to forgive and stay together right so what now would that you, you have 
now that you have clarified the question for me, I'm able to answer right. better now. All right, so All we're right. still together in this relationship. You have hurt me and um, I forgive you and I'm looking to move forward. So um, now the thing is, I see that I'm the person that did not do you wrong and you're the one that did me wrong. Um, going forward, you have that person has to be an open book right um trust would have been lost and then you know in order for me not to be like what happened in there who are you talking to you know that kind of way because you don't want to always be looking you know like the detective kind of thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah so that person has to be an open book you know they so the all the phone the phone codes and and, and that kind of thing has to now be an as either i know the code if you decide you're locking your phone for security reasons, right? So it's either I know the code and I'm able to go into your phone and that kind of thing. And you now, the person who did did me wrong, well, we did we did we, we did it like this, the man that did, yeah, did you know wrong yeah. to me, um, would now have to you know put his friends in check. You know, it would have to have. Um, I would say it would have to have time, 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 a time in to cut off the calls because remember, if it is that you were calling or having conversations, just random, random, all at whatever time, you know, and then boom, the end result was cheating, you know, now you'll have to cut cut that off, you know, at least you'd have to show me, hey, you ain't, you ain't having no such a phone calls and no willy nilly because people could disrespect your relationship. By easily calling nine o'clock, ten o'clock, nine just to say what? Hi, I, I, mm. I, I personally don't believe in, and no friend calling nine, ten o'clock in the night to say hi. What is he saying? <laughs> how long? How, how long? Me talk to you? No, we could talk to you six o'clock in the evening, three o'clock in the <laughs> evening, four in the evening. We could even talk to you in the morning. But when you yeah. say nine o'clock, ten o'clock in the night, you call in the ball. What is he saying? You know, wrong me into, and you fully well know that this person has a significant other or is married or has children or whatever the case may be, whatever the dynamics mm-hmm. of the relationship is, then you are being outright disrespectful. So in that sense, that person has to put their friends in check and ensure mm-hmm. that, you know, their relationship in that sense going forward is respected. Um, and you just have to really be an open book. You're going out, you, had a, you, you may not like it, but you have to well babes are going with um jack sarah and torn hill and we will be back <laughs> we're going to lime at san fernando hills we will be back there we'll be spending some time three hours whatever i mean the thing is the reality is something could still go down there anything could still happen but just to have that peace of mind and and to build you know that relationship again to a, a trust with the um state you have to definitely be an open book what did levi say once trust is breached, yeah. i assume both would have different levels of insecurities about the other person or themselves even if you have rules they will be broken as complacency steps in yeah i mean i i agree because i, I mean I, once I you agree. get comfortable yeah once you get comfortable you, you tend to fall back into old habits and that well, kind of you, thing you see and and the thing is with that once somebody has cheated in a relationship they have to be mindful that even when you get back into your comfort zone that you don't fall back into old habits you know so that's where your your self-awareness comes into play because remember you're trying to build trust and even though that um that trust has been broken and and i'm not saying no that to some level it will be healed again but not entirely because some people they don't ever move on entirely you know it's always a remember you know even Mm. if even if they are healed and they, they 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 will talk about it it is always that remember time once you're with that same person the only how that becomes a memory is if you're no longer with that person at all you understand so. yeah that's so hard you know that real <laughs> tough because when you think about it like that you make a mistake you mean for the rest of your life for this person it's just like uh something that will never leave you regardless of anything you uh, listen it, it will never leave you listen uh, you know how life works life works like this something is happening into your life 
um, be it good or bad. And their show is now showing you cheating. So if you got cheated on, all of a sudden, all these shows you're watching, it, it, some level of cheating going on. Yes. Like, oh, gosh. <laughs> switch, switch, switch. <laughs> you're going down the road, somebody, boy, you ain't know what I hear. This boy get cheated on. Um, yeah. Boy, really? You know, and, and like, I don't know. I don't know why life works like that. But, you know, mm. it is just whatever is going on in your life you find out especially if it's a problematic something you know you find out things always coming in different directions and along the same storyline and you're like why why mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so some but sometimes i think that that happens for for the healing really to take to take place if you decide to stay with the person eh? you know to yeah. really see if that healing is is you know going to come about now yeah but I, I, I really do think, you know, in that in that scenario happening, you really and truly have to figure out, you know, a lot of people ignore the why it happened, the real reason as to why the cheating took place on both sides. You know, you always you automatically blame the person who cheated one hundred percent because you should not have done that, regardless of what. You should not have done that. But you know, it is a time where you both need to reflect. And I think that is the first thing that I would have, I would do. I would definitely reflect to make sure that I, my, I did my contribution to it was, you know, not, wasn't great. Or, or, or if I have to fix certain things and for it not to happen, but I don't know, it is a tough, it's a tough thing to move on from to the, those who can and those who did kudos to you all i i admire i admire and you have to deal with a heart that you didn't break in a new relationship exactly yeah so i i don't even know what what you could do now listen i I think i think i think what happens is you see when it takes it takes a real man a real woman um with great strength to Mm -hmm. be willing to understand a broken person's heart you know for people who have been cheated on and they're in that place of hurt and that kind of thing um and they decide to move on from that relationship and go into another that person who they're going to be with really has to have some strength because remember this person is coming from a place of pain you know and a place of trust issues so how am i to trust you and how am i to you know think that you're not going to do this to me too so you really have to have some patience. You really have to have some understanding. You really have to have love in the midst of it all. And just be willing and open to go through the process with the person until they're able to see that, hey, I am here for you and I will not do that to you too. Do you believe cheating is cultural? I honestly believe it is. And Trini is having bad notes. I didn't state gender. Okay, so we can, uh, let, let, let's answer. Um, just- speak say the question properly so that when we lose the remarks we still know what we're talking about so do you so levi is asking do you believe cheating is cultural i honestly believe it is and trini's have it bad know that i didn't state gender um that's a good (laughs) question (laughs) that is a good question um yeah that's a good question i i do i do believe i do believe the reason why trinidadians and and caribbean people also tend to get into that a lot into cheating is because of the the fact that we are the the type of the, the type of activities that we get involved in and a lot of the activities that we get involved in is partying and liming which requires, which would not require, sorry, but which involves alcohol and, and alcohol leads to a, a, a myriad of things. And most of them are very sexual. And it, it, I mean, it causes you to not be in your right state of thinking all the time when it comes to the, the alcohol and that kind of thing. And even Stop. the environment. Step, step, Hanging step, 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 mm-hmm. step, 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 step. I don't agree with that. I no, think when but you have I agree with that. Head, <laughs> listen, I think when you have alcohol in your head, 
you're fully aware of what you're going to do because you're one you listen all the time yeah listen to me alcohol just gives you the braveness to do what you always wanted to do in the first place yes so you just no, get extra i can do it now because i have some alcohol in my head but really and truly the i believe that you were always pondering you know oh everybody your, We always ponder. We always know what we are about to know. Yes. Don't let nobody fool you and tell you that they, they don't the know what they're about. But alcohol is it influences but it. The, so the alcohol just gives you the braveness to go through what you was pondering on all the time. So yes. it doesn't. It's and not like it. It makes you do anything. I just feel it just gives you that extra booster. Hey. We could do it now, I right? So that's you no, know, but that me, makes it cultural because most of our activities involve alcohol, which everybody has the 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 cheating nature inside of them. Everybody, right? And if you compare two persons, one who is not in an environment that has something that would push them towards things, their chances of remaining calm and not in um, getting into cheating and stuff. Is is a little less or more their ability? Yeah, to, their ability to avoid <laughs> situations is much more than if you in an environment whereby you have this influential thing, you know. But Levi is saying that financial dependency also plays a role, and that is true. There are a lot well, of I persons out here, yeah. yeah there, and, and you see, that's why I'm saying it. All like it all depends on your situation. And Ajamu says not everybody, and and that's that's correct as well because not everybody, even though they that we have that nature, not everybody would do it. Not everybody would give into right. it, you know. Um, but it really all depends on people's situations and circumstances, you know. That in itself influences the the thought factor to cheat in, you know. You know, if they if they're in a position where they need some money, and is like yo. You know the the the, f- the friend or whoever there, and you're all thinking it's just like you're trying to now you, you find now you'll be going in that direction of yeah no problem and you know kind of thing and people get themselves entangled in in that's the word and entanglement. Someone says Levi when you broke and you have to oh good gracious. <laughs> Levi when you broke. Oh lord. Come on. How are you going to? Well, anyway, so we, let's get into the quiz, right? So, Bam, I have a quiz. It's it's, it's um an informative oh. kind of quiz. Oh, we'll teach sure. you a little lesson. Yeah, it's only fifteen questions. Oh, and I, that is I short. want. Yes, it is because what we can go through it quickly. What I want everybody to to answer and put their answer in the comments box below, so that we can um learn something new about cheating. Right, so it's called the right. infidelity quiz. All right then. Now, question one. Question one. You ready? All right. Already, already. Most most men who cheat are unhappy in their marriage. True or false? And let's let's make it broader. Most men who cheat are unhappy in their relationship. True or false? I would say false. Yes. You say false? Yeah, I would say. Hmm. I don't know, you know. Everybody, I feel men are all messed up these days, you know. But I, feel, I say it's false. I say it's false. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, men messed up. Everybody messed up. <laughs> yeah, everybody messed up. So Thorn says false. Gabian says false. Well, I, I love the fact that men saying false. Men saying false. Yeah. That 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 tells something, but anyway. So the correct answer. What did what did Lynn say? Is Lynn there still? Lynn, is she saying? I don't, I don't know if Lynn is there still. Lynn, are okay. you there? Okay. So the correct answer is false. Um, fifty-six percent of men who have had affairs were happy in their relationship, uh, according to a study that was done. Right. So men are more likely to give sexual motivations for infidelity. And less likely to fall in love with their extra marital partner or their extra relationship partner. Um, women are more interested in supplementing their relationship or jumping ship than men are. So for men, it is a secondary strategy as opposed to the alternative. So yes, men just thirsty 
and <laughs> so I'm but it's still, like still other wives. On. I I will never understand it. You know, right? I guess because they're 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 more sexually driven than we are. You know? I don't care. I still won't understand it. We don't care, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Women are more likely than men to give which of the following reasons for infidelity? A. Revenge B. Sexual novelty C. Sexual frequency or D. Loneliness Women are more likely than men to give which of the following reasons for infidelity? And, and, and Levi, the historical data are wrong, though, because they, they, I, I, as I was telling them Sunday that, you know, it's it's actually even when it comes to the statistics of men and women, you know, mm-hmm. men, men and women, she's on the same levels. So, you know, Ajahn, but, um, said, mm, he says, a. somebody say, a and so the D. question, the question is, women are more likely than men to give women are more likely than men to give which of the following reasons for infidelity a revenge b sexual novelty c sexual frequency or d loneliness i think a yes revenge yeah Ru- i mean really okay you you not see. you not really revengeful but how women are okay, well, yes, that that's for- a. Yeah, it's half women out here. We'll do that the for you. Says a. <laughs> okay, Don so let's see. A Jamu says A. I say A. <laughs> so the answer say? is the answer is D loneliness. Experts say that most often men and women have different reasons for being unfaithful. Men search more for sex or attention, and women look to fulfill an emotional void women tend to have an emotional connection with their lover and are more likely than are more likely to have an affair because of loneliness i agree with it because for me i am not gonna have sex with nobody out of revenge i'm really sorry my body ain't be getting beat up so Mm-mm. not no revenge no, no i mean loneliness you, you, i can you see that happening do- you wouldn't do it, but it have women out there would. No, it, there are, but in terms when you think about more likely, you think it's more likely for women to seek revenge. Really, if I said as a white survey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You think it's, it's more likely for women to seek revenge to, when they have sex, or when they go and cheat on their partner? It's how women out here bad mind. What was Jada reason? She was hurt and she was lonely because she man, she and Will broke up. It was a revenge. Listen, uh, just say, listen, uh, listen uh, <laughs> some part of her head must say, Listen, I'm doing this for <laughs> revenge. If Question Will three. feel, if Will feel, you know, I'm doing this. Question for three. Revenge. Infidelity is the leading cause, cause of divorce. True or false? Infidelity is the leading cause of divorce. True or false? True. True? It do have sometimes Apollonia, and you have true or false? Fifty shades. <laughs> Infidelity is the leading cause of divorce. True. 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 Levi says false. All right, so going with Bambi answer. Bambi, the, the answer is false. Through, and although infidelity Islam. is the main reason Islam. that unmarried, what? It's land. It's land. Land is the real no. reason why people are staying together. <laughs> Apparently, it's because of they realize that they're incompatible and they're unable to communicate with each other. Well, okay, um, that's a good fin- reason. Fin- that's a good yeah, reason. and finances could be thrown in the middle there too, because finances is a big yeah, reason for that's a good, yeah, that's a good breaking reason. up. But not really cheated. So Gavi and yeah. land and money. That's why I say and this is Trinidad we live in and everybody's separating for land and money. <laughs> now listen, now listen to the this question, right? Listen to the question properly. What percentage of husbands say 
they've had sex outside of their marriage what percentage of them say they've had sex a 15 percent b 25 percent c 36 percent or d 52 percent what five. percentage of husbands say one that five. they've had sex how much one five one five fifty <laughs> i'm a kid uh... 15% she said Zero percent. There's not that option so there's not leave I know y'all are... <laughs> So basically so basically men not admitting You see what it is guys Oh gosh The answer is 25% No the lion <laughs> according to Levi this is a white survey 25% <laughs> of men admit or they say they've had sex outside of their marriage now the question what percentage of wives say they've had sex outside their marriage 15 percent 25 percent 36 percent or 52 percent which percentage of wives say they've had sex outside their marriage 36 <laughs> percent I think women are a little bit more open with, you know, how they feel because remember when a woman cheats, she cheats because she wants, she's kind of more or less ready to move on, you know, that's if they and find out. the deciding factor, you know, I mean, and that's if they find out. <laughs> so, I'm going to read it, listen to the question. What Gabby percentage of wives, <laughs> what percentage of wives say they have had sex outside of their marriage? And the answer is 35. The answer is 15. And I believe that. I know, but bam, women don't divulge that kind of information unless they unless they're found out. Okay. Well, Be, being real. They ain't true. going at men, men will quicker, you see, men quicker get caught and then they have no choice but to admit it because they didn't really care about the person. But yeah, women yeah. not going and Oh, no, no, no. that's why I do. They don't, no, 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 women are like that. Mm -mm. Women are like that at all. So the number I believe would be less. Next question. If you think your partner is cheating, you should discuss it with them, even if you don't have concrete evidence. True or false? If you think your partner is cheating, you should do what? Discuss it with them, even if you do not have concrete evidence. Thorn or oh, thorn. <laughs> thorn is being Tiana. Oh my god. Um you should discuss it, you say? Yes, you should discuss it. True or false. Even though you don't have evidence. I I don't know. I like evidence. <laughs> Levi said yes. But yes, yeah, I think you should you should yeah, you should, you should. Okay. So the answer is true. You should discuss it with them, even though you do not have evidence, just to let them know how you feel. And that's correct, Levi. Discuss, not accuse. Yes. Yes. Do not accuse. I discuss. Copy. Yeah, says this that. Question seven. Highly educated people are more likely to have affairs. Highly educated people are more likely to have affairs. True or false? I don't know. I don't. I really <laughs> don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know. Highly, highly educated people are more likely to have affairs. True. I probably false? okay. So let me let me think about it. Highly educated people. It. Highly educated people are more likely to have affairs. I, I think yes, because you know they'd probably tell themselves, well, you know, they they're so brilliant and they could cover their tracks well and you know they could probably put thought and whatever into it so probably they might think they could get away with it so they would try their hand at it but okay yeah, so okay that's says false thorn says false false gabion says he doesn't yeah, know <laughs> Levi says true uh-huh too smart to get caught too smart. <laughs> so you said you say you said true, I say right? They, I said yeah. I think I think they may think okay. that you know they wouldn't get caught because they're so smart. Okay, so the answer is actually false. 
Um, this really is a white based um. <laughs> yeah, they say that highly educated are less likely to be unfaithful than their less educated peers. Um, 13% of people with college education said they had sex outside their marriage compared to 19% of those who were moderately educated and 21% of those who had the least education. I will say, we say. Well, well uh, so, they, so they say. I don't like this quiz. So they say. I will say. <laughs> anyway, now, now my, a woman is least likely to be unfaithful if her income is. A woman is least likely to be unfaithful if her income is A, equal to her husband's, B, greater than her husband's, C, slightly less than her husband or much less than her husband a woman is least likely to be unfaithful unfaithful meaning cheating so she's least likely to be unfaithful if her income is equal to greater than slightly less or much less these persons have self-esteem issues though but um no but finances is is finances can't contribute to you all we all just agreed that finances can contribute to decisions like that so well, for some people but i mean that that is to me that is well you have to deal with yourself for that eh? because if you if i did come push come the shelf and you had no money that is a day what will happen to you um I so basically she's she more likely, likely to be she's, less, yeah. she's least likely to cheat if she has um God boy, what kind of question is this? <laughs> um, She's she least has, likely. If she has probably same amount of money or more, you know. More? Same amount of money, probably. Exactly the right, Makeda. Where these questions the answer, really come from? The answer, Thorn was correct. The answer is much less. Because psychologically, she does not want to cheat because she can't afford to lose him. Simple. I, I, I don't know how that was so hard. Listen, you understand the questions because you've seen it. Probably how you're reading it tonight. Just, I don't know. It's not um, it as it's, it is, bam. This, this, this quiz suck. Anyway, a man Hi, is more likely to cheat. Listen, a man is more likely to cheat if his wife is the main breadwinner true or false if his wife is the main what breadwinner Marge a man is ways. more a man is more likely to cheat she's if breadwinner, his wife is, is the, the main breadwinner, main breadwinner he's still cheating <laughs> <laughs> so true <laughs> still cheating it don't matter breadwinner or not keep cheating <laughs> and, we, and, the, and them men and them just admitted it in the, in the earlier part of, 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 of tonight's show. So. <laughs> Makeda says true. Ajamu says true. Apollonia says false. False. All right. Okay. Let's see what's the answer. What's your, what's your answer, ma'am? He's still cheating. All right. So true. So the answer is true. <laughs> men, men are more likely to cheat if their wife is the main breadwinner. Let me see if you have any. Men don't any. cheat. <laughs> oh, all right, so, Denzi. So listen, they said Cornell University, a Cornell University study found that men who were completely dependent on their wives' income were five times more likely to cheat than men who contributed equally. I think that's true. Yeah, I that's believe very, so too. Because yeah. you, you've seen it, you've seen it a lot happen, eh? Because you'll be yeah. the woman turn around and be like. After all I do for you and da 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 Yes, I believe that. Now listen, a man is more likely to cheat if he is the main breadwinner. Don't say stop this white survey. A man, bam, answer. A man is more likely to cheat if he is if he is the main breadwinner. Listen. He cheated anyway. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it don't really matter though. She's the breadwinner. He's the breadwinner. He's still cheating. <laughs> the answer. 
The answer is true. <laughs> she said, man. Men who bring home most of the household income are also more likely to cheat. Lord Father, men, 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 men. Please go <laughs> Please, and I have no do, some, do some self evaluation. <laughs> Do some self evaluation. Don't forget this out now. Pick a oh pick a side. God, pick a side. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, it could be a sign that your partner is cheating, or thinking about it if they a change how they look, b give you gifts, c constantly criticize you, or d do all of the above. <laughs> Denzi. Yes. <laughs> Listen. Yes, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Nancy, but the the they show that all men do is cheat. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> but, oh hey. gosh, yes, Repeat the question. It could Repeat be a, the question. It could be a sign that your partner is cheating or thinking about it. If a they change how they look, b they give you gifts, c they constantly criticize you, or d they do all of the above. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> all of the that above. Is that is correct. Oh gosh. Well, I don't know if you'll notice one. But anyway, guess. Where can you go to jail for cheating? A, where can, where South- can I go to jail? Yes, where where in I'm going to give you the answers. Okay. Where can you go to jail for cheating? A in South Carolina. B in Minnesota, C in Michigan, or D all of it, all of the above. Where can you go to jail for cheating? I want to say, what what had South Carolina or North Carolina? So, South South Carolina. South Carolina, ten ten, hey, ten, ten, ten. South Carolina. So the, answer, ten, ten. the answer is all of the above because there are laws against adultery. Oh, but shut. they're not very apparently but they're not really enforced but there are laws against them you lie good night Jay. Wow, so women is- and men who experience cheating can get their 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 partner um locked up wow amazing you yeah. should do some other thing then <laughs> then the whole, <laughs> the whole the country, country in jail, in jail. <laughs> Jail. Oh, right. country, yeah. <laughs> that is terrible. That is oh terrible. lord. All right, so yeah, two more questions. Genetic testing could help determine how likely your partner is to cheat. True or false? Genetic testing could help determine how likely your partner is to cheat. True. Listen, I rather don't know. I rather don't know, but I would like to think because we are so techy and things are so advanced, you know, that it's possible. Not in Trinidad, though, but it's possible elsewhere. Must be, maybe, you never know. I don't know it all, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Levi said he'll end up cheating in jail, too. <laughs> <laughs> Levi! <laughs> but it's true, though. It's true. What's your, what's your answer, ma'am? I have no clue. I don't know. Guess one. Pick one. Genetic testing could help determine how likely your partner is to cheat. Consider, I, think about no. it. Think about no. your parents. If your parents' genetics make a baby, if it passes the down. I think that's false then. Come on, please. You think it's false? Okay. So I the answer is <laughs> the answer is the answer is true. Oh my they God. believe that they believe that genetic testing could determine so, if your partner is so, likely to cheat listen so i don't i that i don't agree with dread them can say what they want because if my this father is. you know is like okay levi said if your dad's a beta right very good a beta uh-huh. a beta and he can't end up a cheetah what but the way <laughs> what well like <laughs> Uh, if you come on, oh, there's a like, you can end up a cheater. He's a beta. You could end up a cheater. Born, we just going and cheat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he Listen. meant if the dad is a beta, you beta. could end up a beta as well. Okay, 
you could end right. up a beta because, as well. Right. No, because it, it, it may not be genetic, but it's behavioral influence. Right. And, and this yeah. question was based on genetics. So that's why yeah, I don't that agree with it in that sense. But I, I can that's agree true. with the influences around you. And that's what you mm. know. That's what you see. So you become an abuser as well. You understand? I could understand that. But don't tell me the genetic mm. thing. If my father are drinking rum and, and thing and he's a drunkard, I could be a drunkard too. No. Well, the alcohol, the alcoholism I don't, I don't, thing. I don't, I don't need the, to. I know, the alcoholism thing, I think that could be genetic. Eh? That is, a, I, I think that one could be genetic. I'm not sure about the cheating part or the abusive part, but the alcoholic abuse could be a genetic trait. Yeah. I believe that one for sure. Hi. Yeah. Um, next question. What is the best you. way? What is the best way to deal, to heal? Sorry, to heal a relationship after infidelity, according to experts. A. Temporary separation. B. Individual psychotherapy. C. Cup, joint couples therapy. Or D. Anger management. I think individual psychotherapy. Leave, I say leave. <laughs> <laughs> really leave? Oh my gosh. So the answer is joint couples therapy. Okay. Yeah. And last question. Yay! Who should set who should set the timetable for a relationship's recovery after an infidelity? A the couple's therapist. B the partner who cheated. C, the partner who was betrayed, or D, both partners together? Both partners together. Who should together. set the timetable for a relationship's recovery after an infidelity? Think about the question. Both, both, who should set the timetable? Yes, um, who should set the trend or the time, t the time frame or the timetable for the relationship's recovery after oh, an infidelity? the person who cheated, the person who cheated. Hi, Maureen. The couple's therapist, the partner who cheated, or the partner who was betrayed, or both? I think the partner who cheated. The partner who cheated? Why are you doing my dad? Why are you doing my dad? <laughs> I just make it <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, what you know? The partner who I'm cheated. Make, I'm making sure. Are you sure? Are you yes. Sure? Are you sure? Now you sure? Okay, so the, the, um, the, heal, for the healing process, right? This is the healing process. Yes, the recovery. Yes. So Who recovery. should be you want to set the, the timetable for that? The timetable for that. Yes. Like who should say this is when this is gonna happen? This is when we should become we should go this, this who should say that? Uh -huh. Okay, in that sense, who should say that? Um the therapist. The therapist, or probably the one who was hurt. Jane says the one who was hurt. But well, the answer is the come. one who was betrayed. How you gonna force me to be ready when I'm not ready? <laughs> For me, listen. listen you disappoint them, man. You disappoint them. Listen, this quiz is a turn off. I don't. You like get it. ten wrong. You got I ten. I don't wrong. care. I don't care. You got ten wrong. You get uh, five right. You I failed. Don't you care. failed. That's okay. You failed. That's fine. We we sometimes fail in life. I would get well, up and dust myself off and go again. You fail real bad in this, in this quiz. <laughs> I'm buzzed. Don't I'm drinking lime and water though. <laughs> 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 yes. Right. So guys, that was that was the quiz. You know, just give us quiz. some fun. Hush your tail. Call it your tail. Ajamu, I agree. The therapist has a part to play. You understand? How the hell the oh, therapist have a part to play? If you are wishy therapist, yes. How the therapist have a part to play? Moving along, moving along. Okay. Anyway, so I have a next question. I have a next question to ask. So this is a very interesting question. And I would like to weigh in as well. So I'll ask you and you can weigh in and we'll both discuss it. So, this is a female who asks. So I'm going to ask just how the female asks, right? <laughs> what should I... What should I do if my significant other has a lot of female friends? 
and he is always going out of his way for those friends and not realizing that it is affecting our relationship. What should she do if her significant other has a lot of female friends and he's always going all out of his way for those friends and not realizing that it is affecting their relationship? Wow. So that is a lot of problems there on its own because first things first, me personally don't have a problem with my guy having female friends. However, there is a, there's a line, right? So for instance, if it is that he has his female friends that are respectable to our relationship, then fine and so be it. And respectable to me to, you know, not just, okay, well, I respect you in that sense, but you see she, no, respectable to all of us, then fine. Um, however, if it is that clearly in this case, he's not what he's doing for his friends, his female friends, he's not doing for his relationship. And that is a, that's a huge issue in that sense. And because of that, it would cause problems. So if you're in that situation, you know, you have to talk to him. You have to, sh to, to tell him how you feel and put him sit down and, and let him know, listen, you can't be running, running out yourself for Jane, Jacqueline and, and Jesse. And when I say, babe, so, 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 you're not running out yourself for me. It don't work like that. You know, so you have to be, if you're doing for me, I can understand that that's, that's your care in nature. That's how your heart is. And that's who you are as a person. So it's natural now for you to do for your friends. But if you're not doing for me and you're doing for your female friends, obviously we'll have a problem. And it's like, okay, so what's happening here? You know? Um, so you have to really take that into consideration and, and, and look that and have that and check. Guys, oh my God, why did Instagram just do us this? We are Sorry? on a countdown. We are on a countdown. Oh, good gracious. I want to give up two cents. <laughs> no, no, you can't give okay. you two cents, but I think it will give you two cents. Yes. 50. So guys, please rejoin. Please. I want to see all y'all back. Please rejoin. Yes. Please rejoin. Because we have a one more question to answer. answer. Yes. And we have one more question to answer and, and, and we want to finish this question. All right. Yeah, so join so back, please. Join back. Yeah. Because I really want to hear what you have to say, Jazz. And I think I may have a little more. Um, to okay. Yeah. Okay. All cool. right. How much time do you have? Okay. So see you. <laughs> see you on the other. <laughs> Come back. Yeah. Yeah. Come back. Make sure I just really come back. Know. Okay, look back to the live in this time. All right. Okay, bye. All right, bye now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mom, See you this guys. This is always happening. See you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. Good thing my house clean. We're <laughs> <laughs> missing my table right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. Oh, uh -huh. Lord. Yeah. Uh, oh, great. <clears throat> so, guys, thank you so much for rejoining. Um, shall we continue with that question? Yeah. What was that question again? The top really? of the line really? water. <laughs> Jesus. I really feel right. I feel like he spiked this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what should what should um what should I do if my significant other has a lot of female friends and he is always going out of his way for those friends and not realizing that it is affecting our relationship? Yeah, yeah. So as I was saying, it all depends. It all depends on the type of person that the man is, right? If that man has his 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 natural care and nature is to go out his way for people, then he must be doing the same for you in your relationship. If he's not doing the same for you in your relationship as the woman and he's only doing um, that for his female friends, then that's a big question, Mark, and you need to find out what is going on. Ask the question, say, hey, what, why it is when every time um jane call you know you're always quick to go and help you know what is you and jane or what is what is going on you know or when if, and then 
you know um is it that he's doing it for all his female friends and and just not you well then probably you you are the problem <laughs> he just don't like you you know so all you gotta you gotta watch yourself in that sense and be like well why does he always go not he wait for this one and that one but when it comes to me and mm-hmm. our, it's a problem it's an issue you know um but i see nothing wrong with a man having female friends if they're female if the female friends one are respectable to your relationship and two he the man puts them in their place you know right. so they know now not to cross that line well i i am there with you when you with with that last comment that you would have made because how i think about it now i m- men and women can be friends I agree, all right? Um, however, and I can tell you based upon my experience, my experience is that I had a, a male best friend and my male best friend got a girlfriend. And when he got that girlfriend, I backed all the way up, 100%. Now I believe that um, he is wrong and they and his friends are wrong. And if it is that they are his true friends, they would never allow him to be their go-to person. There is some, even though he may not be involved in anything romantic with his friends, there's a level of respect that you must have for the woman in his life. This is my belief. When my friend got the girlfriend, I am no longer in any position to be depend so dependent on you as my friend or whatever. I should not be so dependent. Go and find another way because I I believe it is very disrespectful to the woman in her life, in his life. She should not have to, she should at no point in time have to wonder or question or even make a, a come to me, come to him and say, hey, what is going on between you and Janicia? She should never have to do that. And the reason being why she should never have to do that is because I should never need him so much. So he should never be always going out his way for no female friend. I am very, in fact, no friend. Now you can go out your way for friends. Yes, I agree. But when it comes to the point that they always call you, to help them in a scenario that's where you'll have a problem regardless of if i am insecure or not we will we will have a problem because i am not going to have any male friend in my life that could call me to fix his problems all the time to call me to rectify something to do something to never it is not going to happen because i'm never going to make my man feel the least bit suspicious of any guy in my life. So there are always limits. And I think that for that young lady, she is in all right to ask him what is going on and to cut down on certain things. Because a friend would automatically respect your relationship and pull back. And for me, the friendship that I have with the person, I will hang out with him and his his girlfriend or his wife. I will hang out with the two of them together because I don't want him to think, I don't want her to think that there's something going on between her and her husband and, and build that relationship where she is trust. She trusts, you know, that we are cool, you know, because in any event now, she will always be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's Jenny, it's, 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 it's her. Go, you can go ahead because we have developed that. Re- I have developed that respect for her. And she was able to now return the respect because of the distance I put between our relationship when they when they got together. And I think that all men should do that and all women should do that. And that should never be an issue of people saying, why he doing this and why he going all out and whatever. You can have your friends, but there's a clear line. There's a 100% line that, and, and I want to repeat it, for the, um, the young, this young um, Sharice that joined just now, I want to repeat it. There's a clear line that must be drawn between friends and the person that you dated. 
So if it is that you are dating someone and their friends do not have respect for your relationship and always calling your man to do this and to do that and whatever, you are in all rights to say, hey, back the hell off or back up a million steps and take several seats. That's just how I feel. And I get very passionate about it because women are not supposed to do women that. You're just a friend. If you're just a friend, take the just a friend rule. Go and find your own man or find your own best friend to do all the things that you need him to do. Find one, not Max. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Levi, say, easy, Rasta. Easy. <laughs> easy. So, um, no, no, no. I'm I'm like I'm I'm like I mean, and I agree with you. The moment there's a question mark and you as the woman um, uncomfortable and you have to ponder and wonder what's happening, that's an exactly. issue. You know, that's an issue. Nothing should be make you feel uncomfortable. You know, uh, Ajama would have asked, you know, what if they were there before you? I mean, that's always been the case. In, in I was there. Cases, I was there before him, before her. Most, I was there for most, before exactly, best friends. But, and I think, but what happens is this all goes down to who you are as a person, to your morals, your standards, and what you think and feel of people's relationships. Because, yes, okay, y- you didn't have to to back out, Jazz. You didn't have to, but because you know that, okay, a. Hey, my bestie in a relationship now and i have to respect the fact that he's not always going to be at my back and call you know and i just have to give it this space and but some people don't see it like that and that's where those no, types of people now have to. to and and some people don't see it like that and that's why these type of people have to be corrected by the man himself and say yo no 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 when it comes to my woman you need to back off, you know, and vice versa in that sense, you know. So it is is it's all about the respect at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Right? And because I know um for me, my husband has his female friends, but I just always say the female friends that has no motive are always really cool, although it have the little one or two little sneaky air that is talk to me. <laughs> but yes, but they, <laughs> But they, you know, <laughs> so you know, but I mean, you must, as a woman, you always know and sense who genuine from who's not. Yeah, yeah. We always mm-hmm. have that, that, that sixth sense to pick up on, on, yo, you see, she, and then most of the times we are very much right about the woman that we feel some type of way about, you know? Um, so it's just, it's just a matter you, of respect. But what helps you with that sixth sense, bam? What helps you with it is the fact that your friend, the friend, isn't pushing up into your relationship that is what helps because if i didn't do that and 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 as i said this is from experience and i've had the experience on both sides i've had the experience where i did not back off and then i've had the experience well after i learned about that one i went through that experience that is when i now learn to back off because i realized you know really and truly Regardless of if I was there before and we were good friends, this is the person, this person, my friend chose. And I have no I have to respect her. I yeah. have to respect her position. Because the Regardless first time I was like, like them them, as your friend, I, I was there yeah. first. I, I had that approach. And then yeah. he, and, and thankfully he he at that time put me in my place and said, Well, um, this is the woman in my life. Uh, even though we are best friends. Me, I not sleeping with you. You, you ain't giving me nothing. You not benefiting my life in terms of building it. So why must I shun her off or you know just be up under you? Cause we're best friends. You have to respect us. And and I sat down and I was like, you know, he is one hundred percent right. That is not my place. That is not my place at all. And then that's when it happened again. The first time I was introduced, I said. I am the best friend. You'll see me when events pop up and we, you know, in that manner. We maintain conversation. We talk all the time. Even, we do, in fact, we don't even talk all the time because that's I know you have to respect their space in that manner. But we talk as much as often as, as possible in a respectable manner. In front of face too. I don't, I have no problem because I'm not on your man, you know? 
and that is what we, that person's boyfriend needs to start doing and if he's not doing it my op- in in my opinion i don't know if it's in bambi's opinion in my opinion he needs to be checked and those friends need to be checked in a nice way first yeah, and then i agree i agree i agree yeah. i agree with that i agree with that so yeah so the last so we have question oh we have one one last question yes so the last question is bambi would you prefer to forgive physical or sexual cheating as opposed to over emotion versus emotional cheating okay so you have two types of cheating physical or sexual cheating where right. there's no emotions involved they just went on right just sex or and emotional just cheating. so it may not have been sexual but it's very but emotionally tied the so connection would you on an intellectual prefer, level exactly so would you prefer to forgive the physical one or the emotional one I would actually like to prefer to forgive the um the <laughs> the, the, the the sexual one the one that's just sex the really? one that's just oh, you prefer, that's why you prefer to forgive I prefer to forgive okay. that one okay that okay. emotional thing is a different level why you're connecting on a whole emotional intellectual level that's a whole different you know space if it okay it was just sex uh all right i'll forgive you i want to forgive you for that one and i mean i will forgive you for the emotional one to her but it will be very hard and it's harder because that connection that you've connected with that i probably mm-hmm. want for me and for you not happening but here you are mm-hmm. with whoever connecting on that kind of level i will feel very you know hurt and be like yo what's what's happening here so you know yes i may forgive you but it will take a little longer for me to forgive you with that with the with that one is concerned you and these bugs no ashida that's my daughter okay are you okay are you okay you good you don't do answer shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> shake your head shake your head just uh, no don't don't come to see either just go this yeah. way this way yeah, yeah I, I agree i agree with you I, i think um the emotional cheating is is much harder to take because you're you're, you're basically lost that person yeah 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 Yeah. and and that's true when when i'm once once that emotional intellectual thing happens on a deeper level yeah what 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 relationship you have it's not a meaning yeah you you have nothing again you just have to be real with yourself and say all right this (laughs) (laughs) that's that is true that is true that hard that hard that real hard that very hard i think i i would advise anybody if that happens to you please move on don't well and well no no just move on like i was making this joke the other day and jazz was like what an analogy and i said a well is a thing with plenty of water and you're just drowning your whole self in it so you know just do, <laughs> just do well do well just move on keep it moving <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah for real i i would advise that to anybody too anytime it's emotional cheating yeah because that turns into all different types of mental dysfunction yeah. for you. exactly you know? yeah. exactly and you have As to always be questioning people. if it is that i wonder if i i wonder if we get into beyond this level now i wonder if mm-hmm. i'm scoring mm-hmm. i wonder you always have to be wondering and asking yourself a million and ten questions no no don't put yourself through that just mm. end it it done forget it moving along next so levi says just no stay and save but that's providing if he's the if he's the breadwinner and he's making much more money you know you say here yeah, well well let me set up my life i don't know and then i'll move on but at the end of the day you're lost the person you know so you have to move on regardless of what yeah yeah move. and and i mean you're, you're willing to go through that that beating that kind of beating that emotional I beating feel, all the time there i feel that is the time that like when time you lose somebody emotionally that is the time when cheating now becomes blatant and they don't care anymore and is and very disrespectful so they might literally bring the person 
home and saying, hey, there's, there's my friend, there's my friend. And you there thinking, oh, hey, I'm that a friend. Is, nah, that, yeah. that, that, and compared to if he goes out and just does a sexual cheating, you know, you will quicker leave that person in the streets where they he found them or she found them and then come back to you and love you up. As someone said before, men, you know, what you say before, boy? Men have the ability to, men just thirsty, they just want sex or something, so. Something like that he was saying, yeah. Yes. So, something like that. <laughs> I guess so. So that is all of the questions for tonight. Bam. And I, I, I really liked this topic. I mean, <laughs> I really did. I am sorry that it's, you know, a relationship is going through what it's going through just for us to be able to get this topic started. But it is what it is. And I hope, the, I wish the best for all couples who are coming back from infidelity um it is not the end all if it is that your relationship has experienced infidelity love according to the type of cheating it is yeah, as we would have said there's the sexual physical type and then there's the emotional type so all these things have to be assessed your contribution both parties contributions need to be assessed properly and you know and then a, and then a decision whether to move forward or if to end has to be made and once a decision to move forward has been made um rightfully bam you would have said sunday is if you are forgiven you can't always be throwing back what was done into the person's face because they will never be able to move from their past and then the person who did the betrayal has to understand that time must be given for that person to accept what has happened you know so it's just a matter of both Indeed. persons being very mature about it being very yes. open and honest from now on making a decision to change making a decision to 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 be a different to not be that that that, that natural self where they fell in that caused them to fall into that situation you know a lot of reflection and and self and self-awareness need to occur have to must bound to occur and but just remember that it is not, as you said, what is not the end all of every of it, you know? I, the <laughs> lighter the so end of it. Yeah, so I, w I was, I would have been, you know, I would have mentioned, I should have said on Sunday that, you know, um, like we were talking that every couple that goes through, you know, uh, a cheating scenario in a relationship, it does not end off in we are finished or we're done we're done with you you know um there are the couples that would do the necessary things that they need to do which is take um therapy sessions you know and be open with each other because they really love each other they want it to work they understand that you know what had happened um really hurt them and at the end of the day you know we're all human we all can fail at some point and mm. I was saying that, you know, in order to be um, successful, when we want to be successful, we all we have that mindset of, I am going to push, I am going to go through what I need to go through. No matter if I fall or, or fail, I will get up and try again. And we need to have that same mentality when it comes to our relationships, especially not just your relationship, you know, but especially if you love the person. You know, because there are people that really don't love their significant others. But if you really love the person and you tell yourself, mm -hmm. I yes, I am hurt because we were we were saying that it's it's fine to feel this way, you're human, you know, so you would feel hurt, you would feel to probably curse or, or pelt or break something or whatever. And that is fine. That is fine. Nothing is wrong with that. However, but if you you intend to move forward with the same person you ought to allow for the healing to take its place and in order for that to to be the thing you can't constantly throw things back in their face so you in order to be successful in this area of your relationship you must allow um the, for time to really heal um the relationship be open be true be honest and let it take its course you know and i believe that when you do this it is definitely going to end off you know on a on a better note than yeah. what you had experienced before yeah 
and I, I, I like that. And Ajamu says, "Love goes the extra mile," and that is so true. Indeed. When it is you realize Indeed. that you are with the right person, when you yes. feel as though you're with the right person, you 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 yes. do. You know, you you just, you just take a lot of stuff. You know, you you take a little bit more yeah. than you would naturally. Yeah, so yeah. I yeah. believe that love goes the extra mile. I like that. Indeed, it does. It does. It does. It yeah. certainly does. So, um, so this is the end of this topic, but um, yes, it I is. A lot of people um, that have experienced um, being cheated on, or, or or even being a cheater. Society gives us the term "once a cheater, always a cheater," and I don't believe that. I believe people can change, and you know, there are times where we make mistakes, and we need to be able to recover from them, and. Uh, you know but a lot of people do not even know how to because their mistakes are put down so badly you know they they they, they whether they do it to themselves they inflict this this pain on themselves or others do it for them you know M- making mistakes is a natural human um act we cannot get away from it no nobody nobody could and you know they, but there are just ways that you know you have to go about understanding how to recover from making a mistake you know and forgiving yourself so i know that's where we want to go next with respect to sunday i'm talking about forgive self-forgiveness and making mistakes and we are doing so on facebook live so as for those who would have now joined in um and didn't hear what we said before on sundays we would like to um have the podcast on facebook live at 7 p.m. and on Wednesday, Q&A Wednesday, we are going to have it at 8 p.m. on Instagram Live. So um, follow all our um, handles. Ensure that you are following us on Facebook and on Instagram. And if it is that you miss any of the videos, you can check it out on YouTube. We are going to post them up and get them updated so that you can yes. like, share, and please don't forget to subscribe let everyone know about jazz and bambi and the awesome topics that we cover and talk about and um, share your feedback we really want to know what you think about the topics and we really want to know how you all feel how we make you feel or you know suggestions for improvement anything we just just share what you what you would like to share give your feedback so um dm us at jazz talks too much or at bambi talks too much send your messages or you can even email us um at girltalkjazzbambi at gmail.com and you know yeah talk yeah blaze with us oh my god i i must say it's a it's indeed a blessing every time we come here and you know we share our hearts so we share um experiences or whatever is going on and you guys are awesome for just giving feedback and just lazing with us and always being here with us, you know, supporting us in, in whatever way that you can for the persons who um, would have sent your Jambi meals to us and we have helped you in a tremendous way. We are just, you know, appreciative of the fact that we're able to assist, you know, um, based on things that we would have gone through in our lives. And if we have not, um, it would have been based on people who are close to us that would have gone through stuff um it's always lovely and wonderful to just be here with you i look forward to this wednesday and sunday especially talking to you jazz you know and um just having a an overall good time you know through mm-hmm. through education you know through through mm-hmm. education in that sense so um thank you again guys for supporting us um and remember on sunday facebook live facebook live 7 p.m <laughs> go now if you don't if you're not our friend on facebook go now look for Gil talk jazz bambi and add us get to be our friend so that you'll get a notification when we go live on facebook so just take it away girl so, Denzi Joe, bye, Denzi Joe. You know. <laughs> yeah. So good night to to James. I saw James joined in. So good night to James. But we yes. we're finished. Sorry, it will be posted on my Instagram store um, stories feed or whatever. You can see it there. Um, Gavian, I don't have any <laughs> lipstick because I I I lost my entire makeup kit. 
at work. So I have no makeup Levi. today. Sorry. Stefan, you are like late. We are like wrapping yes. up. Um, but but Stefan, eight o'clock on a Wednesday. We have we have changed our time. So you see, we would still not be able to capture everybody. <laughs> Exactly. We changed, we changed the time and people are still late. <laughs> you know, and it's you know, Stefan used to come eight o'clock when it was seven. Right. Denzi wants to meet us on uh, in person. Yes, Denzi. Oh, Denzi, we we would organize to you know to meet because on season one, I think it was Levi said that we're supposed to have a road trip somewhere somehow. So where? So where? I don't know, but that. I think it's Levi who said that. So because he said that, guess what? He got to organize that. So, but I mean, we can't wait to meet. Well, I know I I don't know half of you on here. <laughs> so I can't wait to meet you guys in person too. And, um, and yeah, and yes, yes, Gabby on Facebook. It's still a thing. It's still a thing. <laughs> yes. Right. So guys, like I always say, love the life that you love. Oh, it's Denzi. No, that's the right thing. <laughs> Listen, you need to get your act together. I am fed up of you with Denzi this. Denzi confused me. Denzi confused me. Sorry. That's Sorry. Denzi Paul. Like, yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, true. So like I always say, love the life that you live and live the life that you love. <laughs> and guys, I, like I and like I always say, train your mind to see the good in everything positivity at the end of the day is a choice the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts and i'm just <laughs> and i'm bambi um, bye see you bye on bye. sunday see you on sunday bye bye <laughs>